Hey there, this is Christina Carpenter. Welcome back to Coaching With Me. I am your host, and today we're going to be talking about stop waiting, start creating. Start creating what? Well, what are we creating? We're creating anything. Anything that is a promotional for yourself, for your brand, for your business, and anything that gets people's attention because attention is important to promote whatever you're selling if you're selling something and you need to start creating because creating is the the engine that will get eyes on you so that you can start to sell so start creating stop waiting if you're waiting for a good idea if you're waiting for the right time if you're waiting to be be perfect it's not going to happen you have to start messy you have to start taking action and the only way to take action is just to do it you don't get clarity without action the action brings the clarity and as you take more action you become clearer and clearer on what you need to do and so as you take the moment to create think about what are you creating are you creating what medium what medium is it is it going to be writing is it going to be art is it going to be vocal is it going to be audio is it going to be video what is it? Is it a book? Is it a blog? Is it is it a course? As entrepreneurs, we're always creating. We're always creating something that will be put out into the world so that we can garner attention, garner people's respect, no like and trust factor so that we can grow our audience, grow our business. And so you need attention. So stop waiting, start creating. What are you creating today? And the next thing I wanted to talk about is what is stopping you from creating? There are seven things that may stop you from creating. And these are the seven things. One, people pleasing. Maybe you're afraid of what people will think, but remember what people think is none of your business. So let that go and go do what you have to do. Take up your, your, your steps, do what you got to do, do your assignment and, and work it. Next, second is doubting yourself. Are you doubting the ideas that you have in place? Do not doubt your ideas because then you'll never implement them. Third, negative thinking. Are you thinking negatively about how your work will be received? Stop it. Just stop it. You have to keep going. You have to continue to put good work out and and think of the positive things. Think that I get to do this. Not that I have to do this, but I get to do this. It is an honor and a service and a great, it's a great honor and privilege to be able to serve and help other people. So remember, you are helping, you are serving, and whatever you create is a service to humanity. All right. So don't think negatively about anything you create. Fourth, fear of failure. Are you afraid that whatever you create is going to flop? Maybe you were creating a blog post that you think no one's going to read or you're creating a book you think no one's going to buy. You have to believe that success is coming and it's right around the corner. And sometimes success is right beyond failure. Failure is the stepping stone to success. So remember, you are creating for the sake of helping and serving others. If it fails... It's okay. You will try again and you will not give up because we do not give up. That's rule number one. Do not give up. You find a way and you become creative and you continue to create. You don't stop. You don't say, wait, well, well, does this work? No, you keep trying and you keep figuring it out. You always figure it out. One of the lines I love, um, there's a book called Everything is Figure Outable. And I love that title. I think it's so true. It's... um, by one of my favorite um, writers, authors, entrepreneurs, and she has great success. And she went from one thing to the next and she's continued to be successful. So just remember, everything is figure outable. Go Google that book and remind yourself, everything is figure outable. Next, criticizing yourself. Are you criticizing yourself? Are you being nitpicking at what you do? Are you being a perfectionist? Do not criticize yourself. 
take one step at a time. Baby steps are so important. Baby steps are key. Remember that every thousand miles begins with the first step. So what are you going to do about it? Are you going to take action and figure it out? Are you going to do what you can to make yourself feel good about whatever you're creating and you're not going to say, oh, this is not good enough. No, you're going to say it's good enough for now and I have room to grow. You always reframe whatever is not working. If something's not working, don't say, oh, I'm such a bad person or I'm not that good. No, you you change the wording, you change the, the, the frame of mind and you think, oh, I can figure this out. I can make this work. Oh, I'll get better. I'll work harder on this area or I'll stop working on this and I'll start working on that. You know, you narrow down where it is that you want to get better and you work on that little area or you focus on your strengths and not on your weaknesses. You can't focus on your weaknesses all the time. Focus on what you're good at so that you feel good every day and something that you're doing. So don't criticize yourself. Number six, saying yes when you want to say no. In order to create, sometimes you have to make sacrifices and you have to say no to certain things. You can't be everywhere or do everything. You can't be everything to everyone. So sometimes you have to narrow down your focus of what it is that's your priority and make that your goal and focus on it. Put aside other things and put your main goal in the forefront of your mind and start focusing on it. All right, so learn to say no to people, places, or things. Saying no to spending on certain things or saying um, no to going to a certain event, you know, so that you can go to another event. Like, use your time wisely so that you can prosper and grow in in the areas that you want to grow in. All right, so next thing is procrastination. Number seven, are you procrastinating? Are you putting till tomorrow what can be done today? Do not do that. You must take the time and do it today. If you can do it today, just do it because you'll feel so much better when it's done. You know, let yourself be your own advocate. Be the advocate for your future self. If your future self wants to to, to create a goal, then start creating now so that the goal can be achieved later. Start building now, planting seeds. It's all about planting seeds. I love this analogy of planting the seed. It should have been planted yesterday. So plant it now, today. Okay. So find that book, Everything is Figure Outable. It's by Marie Forleo. Um, She's an entrepreneur I, I follow. And I would also suggest to journal about what it is you really want and what it is you want to create and journal about how you're going to get there and some of the phrases that you could say to stay positive and in a good frame of mind so that you don't criticize yourself and you don't get negative. And remember that you get to do this. You don't have to, but you get to. And that changes everything. Reframe your thinking. So that's all for now. And I will talk to you on another video, on another audio. And thanks for listening.